Could it be just a, a reaper? Whatever's here is smart. Oh, look, it's on the floor. Oh my God, it's on the floor floor. My journey began when I was 15 years old. I had a negative attachment that left me scarred for years to come. So negative that it affected others around me. Today, I am a skeptical paranormal investigator, searching for indisputable proof as closure to what happened to me so long ago. Join me on this perilous journey as we uncover the mysteries of the paranormal. Welcome to Amber's Asylum. So the building has been here for 141 years, actually going on 142. So that's mm -hmm. that's one of the cool things about this building, and it's still standing. This doll right here we got as a housewarming gift. She does move. Um, we've never caught her moving. Uh, one day we came in here after our team had filmed in here. She was bowing towards the actual casket. I'm gonna, People get emotional in the Yeah, room. they do. And we've ac I've actually seen them leave and go outside and I have to go out and I'm like, what's going on? And they tell me what's going on and I'm like, well, I'm gonna tell you, uh, my grandma has talked to me here. Uh, my grandpa has been here, uh, he passed away and a week later we were here and we we're talking to my grandfather. So you guys may talk to a loved one in this building. So it can be emotional for some people. It can be very spiritual. <laughs> but was it two weeks ago? I finally was like, I'm going to sleep here. I'm going to do it for once. And I slept right here in building because I was like, oh, I'll sleep in like pretty much the safest room in the entire building, right? Her version and my version are going to be a little different because I didn't hear this. But what I was seeing was shadows in here. I was actually hearing walking up and down. Like you could hear the pacing. I'd hear a little knocking on the door. I'd hear it on the window right there. And I finally fell asleep. As I'm sleeping, I heard growling, like a deep growl in, in the room with him. And basically she busted in and woke me the hell up. And she's like, I heard a growl. <laughs> Freaked me out. This is the bed that we took out from the bride's room. I've tried to build this bed, I don't know how many times in this room. And every time I come in here, I can't get it done. And uh, our friend Elliot was like, I'm going to build the bed and see what happens. He felt really weird. He said building the bed. Well, this is the room, again, where a psychic told us you to have board this room it. up, never let anybody inside. There is a demon in this room. Well, to me, everything is a demon to some people, right? Mm -hmm. To me, I'm like, well, let's see what happens. I want to see the evidence of this. Okay. We've gotten names that are demonic in this room, but that could only be a play. See what I'm saying? Over like mm -hmm. spirit yeah. box and stuff like that. Whatever's here is smart. It, if you have like a laser grid, it'll, it'll walk through it, realize you can see it, and all of a sudden just disappear. We have seen a man right over about where you're standing. Now, this is Kevin. I'm standing about where she is there. He's like right here. We're looking inside the room, and we had the SLS on our phone and added in true depth mode. True depth allows me to see basically anything in the dark. I can see kind of a, a depth of field. Something appeared head, shoulders, body right in front of us. This guy, he's military. He pushes me out of the way and runs downstairs. <laughs> this guy who can stab, punch, grab, he's good. If he could shoot you, he's even better. He literally was scared. This room has told me to get the F out. It's told men to get out. It's followed me out of the room. Spirit box activity is crazy in here. Um, I've done to tell you, this one's just trying to form here. Um, I've had girls feel fine in here. Men, not so much. What? I open up the door in the war room because we'll I keep on. We'll okay. I keep on getting you open the yeah. door. Okay, that's fine. So. It keeps on saying, "Open up the door." Oh, jeez. Like loud. That's didn't keep the door open. Oh, one thing I'm gonna tell you guys is she talked about open the door. They like their doors open here. They don't like anything shut because they they feel trapped when you do that. We have shut the doors for like a week because we're trying to get the bats. And it felt when you walked in here like you were like it was almost like your dad was like disappointed in you like why are you closing the doors Stop. yeah yeah because like, i don't know if you can right see it look here. look he's like the goosebumps. right here oh, yeah. howard yeah hi, hi howard we're, we're just showing people your home howard is is the man i'm going to get to he's military like i said he's very straightforward now this room is is kind of special um, because this is the room where you see lights. What we do see is we see flashes of light, like a flash, like a camera flash going off. But in the room next to us, you see a silhouette of somebody standing there. We have seen this multiple times. We've never caught it on film, which sucks. 
but I have multiple people witness this. Again, there's a lot of EVPs in this room. I'm gonna tell you, poltergeist activity has gone in this room too. I've actually had this thrown across the room. You okay? Is Howard just really aggravated right now? Okay. She feels Howard. No, 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 no. I just turned that light on. You did, yeah, I watched you. And that was not a power failure because they flicker because we have some power issues, but that was like turning it. I hope you cut that on camera. I did, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Howard was telling us something. We went to go change that light one day, so I turned this light bulb, this light on, and um, the room was moving, like bouncing. Like you could actually hear the, a bouncy ball, and it felt like it was moving. Um, we've seen shadows in this. I heard, just heard a voice work right here. I hope you picked it up, because you should have if it did. If, oh, yeah, because the mic's not really sound. I hope you pick it up, because it was loud. Where you're standing with two shadows go this way. Are you okay? See how she's standing at attention? Howard is, like, are you gonna, are you, are you gonna be okay? This happens to her a lot here, so I have to make sure she's okay. So, one of the coolest things that we've had in this room is the smell of perfume. Rose, um, like rose, rose water. water. Yeah. So if you strong, come in here and you get it in your face. Strong rose water. It comes and goes. Yeah. And, but here's the thing. It'll be in front of you, not behind you when you walk out of here. So she's in front of you walking. See, all the doors are open and I don't get. Oh, come on. Why? There it goes. It's a little must in this room today. Really close. So, welcome to the bride's room. <laughs> <laughs> Babe. I know, there's a door closed. Oh, Howard's gonna love me. Sorry, Howard. This is the bride's room. We've been talking about this a lot with people. Um, multiple psychics, mediums, intuitives have come in this room that have nothing to do with each other, don't know each other, haven't talked about what they've experienced. They believe that seances could have been held in this room specifically, but they're not sure. Again, energy goes up to the third floor. It has that look to it. I look at, you could fit a table there. It just, it has that look too. Now, this room has an effect on me and her. Um, I actually had today, before you guys came in, I came up and told this lady that's here not to interrupt me or get us upset because we'll fight over the stupidest stuff in here. There is a woman who has an attachment to me in this room and she's threatened by other women, especially her. So you may get her tonight. I'm not gonna be here, so she might be more calm, but when I'm here mm -hmm. and with, with investigating with other women, she gets she really jealous and upset. Him here. Yeah. I've gotten scratched, what, three times now? Three times, yes. Mm -hmm. She actually got um, upside down cross in her twice on her arm, and she got scratched on the back, and I can show you those photos. Um, and she walked in just the building and right on her neck. So it's just her specifically, it's no one else. But when I'm with other women, investigating with women, she gets very jealous. She's actually took this bed and kicked it. Yeah. And it's, it has nails screwed into the top. Yeah. And she kicked the top off. So, he bumps heads a lot with Howard. We remember- Howard um, thinks that Marcus is very loud and boastful and- <laughs> Yeah. He, As you can see, I am. He's very loud and boastful. And, but um, I'm also proud of the building too. I'm very proud he, he of everything here. He wants him to here. straighten up. Like right now, he wants him to straighten up and straighten up. Like just to act like proper. Yeah. yeah. And but, have, have more. Not that you're not acting proper. Yeah. But like, to him, he's like, old school. Right. Mm -hmm. I always get, you're such a pretty girl. Why do you wear jeans? <laughs> oh my God. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, want to dress. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't think women should be yeah. in slacks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with Marcus, the one day he came in, he was putting up cameras, and the camera wouldn't work for him. And she like, talked whatever. to the, talked to Howard, and guess I what it did? There and I was like, <laughs> all I did was sit there and say, Howard, all we're doing is putting up cameras so nobody touches your things. This is your possessions now. And I plugged in the camera, and it worked. And he just turns around, looks at me, and goes, oh. you know. <laughs> Howard didn't understand technology until rec until probably everyone started coming in here. He used to shut off my phones. Yeah. He used to do if everything. Gets, if he gets annoyed, he will just shut down. Like everything. That. Yeah, he wanted yeah. the door open. That was the only door that was closed. Yeah, and I was like sweating mm -hmm. with anxiety that 
I opened up the door in the war room because I was like, oh, looked around. And there was no other door that was closed. I'm like, what is closed? Yeah, it was that. So this is Lieutenant Howard Gibson's room. So the story about Howard is what we do know and what we've read is one night he came into this room. I'm sure the doors were closed. He had just had dinner. He probably came in to have some, uh, some drinks by himself. Didn't want to be bothered. As a military man, you know to clean your guns. What we do know is he was cleaning his guns that night. And his favorite pistol, it went off and actually went through his left thigh, going through the artery, and he probably, he bled out more than somewhere around here. Hands. Yeah. And she, she's getting more images now of it. He then accidentally slipped from his hands and hit the floor and the bullet ricocheted from the floor and hit it up into his thigh. She's, see how she's saying things? I see, I, I only know what it says in the report. Again, he's very proper, very upright. We've given him things that he would know. One to two people in here at the most because he has anxiety. So when you come in tonight, don't talk about what happened because he shuts everything down. Intelligence, we got the residual. Then we have the things that we're bringing in and there's something else. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just layer on layer and layer and layer. And the different floors, I think you can tell, feel different. When I come in to clean, I usually treat them just like as if they were. Yeah. I, I just talk and <laughs> if it's the third floor, <laughs> She I gets up and again there. and down. And, yeah. I'm, and there's, I play music yeah. really loudly. This room we call the creepy room. As you can see, it does look pretty. It, it doesn't map the whole entire building. I'm going to tell you, this is the camera that we were talking about earlier. This is the camera that got ripped off the wall and like hit the floor. Now, this room is an interesting room because that is the front of the building right there. Going, there's an actual door there that you have to lift off to go. That's the front of the building. It was like used for storage. That door has flown open smacked into the return right there <laughs> for no reason. That's a 20, 25 pound door. That door has come open and we've heard growling come out of that room. There's, so, a, there? there's room right there. Oh, there really is. Yeah, look. Oh, there's a whole ass room down there. Yeah. Oh, you can't see hollow. Oh, I don't have my eye or light, but yeah, there's. Oh. Yeah, you can go in there too if you want. Oh, cool. This is the room that calls you to it. It wants you to be in this room and say, I'm here. When we first got the building, I would come up those stairs, look into this room because he never had this door closed, and I would see figures in this room. And I mean, they weren't tiny figures. They weren't like my size. They were like ceiling size. So we have poltergeist activity in there. We have poltergeist activity in here. This looks like it was maybe like a, just another storage area, maybe one point in time, a like washroom type area. But right behind you, that um, actually flew across the room. Yeah, I opened it up because one night, this is why I say this, we heard uh, something when it hit, I was showing you that door actually hit against it. That's the first time we ever heard it. It's only done it four times and going on 10 months. Well, I came up to this room because we have this door here. I thought this had fallen over. As soon as I opened that door, that flew across the room, like and actually like really hard. And like, it was like, like you had moved everything. And it, I was like, what the hell? You know, like, okay, I'm gone, see you later. So Katie's probably standing right about here. She has some bricks she's holding on to. I'm actually leading uh, a guest around the corner. And I hear what sounds like a like hanger. That's the only way I can describe it, fall. Well, I come out and I'm like, what the hell is that? And Katie's just like, like freaking out, you know? Well, what had actually happened, this right here, this poker stick right here, this big long one, can you see that? Mm -hmm. So this is what it had to do. So in other words, I had to go like this, turn, be picked up, be picked up like that and the way it was dropped it was almost like that that had to do like a 540 degree turn something like that whatever it would be it's something weird you know it hasn't done it since um i've had power battery packs die in here on me multiple times um the first like five months on is i would come up here and feel like i was having a panic attack this is the only room that would happen at some people get that up here. I don't know if you guys are feeling any of that. It feels like right here. Do you guys want to see an EVP that was captured up here? Yes. All right. Do you guys know what the DDR60 is? Mm -hmm. It's basically a scream on this floor for like 20 seconds and it let it run for over an hour. It picked 20 nice. seconds up of screaming. Um, up here you'll see shadow figures, stuff like that up here. But right about here, I think it was, the guy was at, his name is John. What he saw was a figure as tall as a ceiling coming at him and he's backing up, backing up, backing up. That camera stopped working. 
their camera motion camera that they had stopped working. The only camera they had that worked was the handheld one. And on camera, you hear him get hit. And then he hits the ground. Was it really meant to hurt him? We'll never know. And he said what happened is his face kept changing. And he couldn't see a face. And their psychic said it can mimic shapes, voices. And this is why I say it mimics voices is because we have heard, again, Katie doesn't come up here, her voice in that room. Her voice was caught in the basement from a team downstairs. She's been kicked up here, stuff like that. So we don't want her to be up here. She's not necessary to be up here. I used to never want to be in this room. I absolutely hated this room. It gives you the creeps. It really does. There's two explanations for it. One, it's, it's definitely have, it has, you know, people in here that you can't see. And two, there is what's called a fear cage in here. It's just the electric is so old that it puts off EMF. Well, that EMF also feels the spirits in this house, especially up here. What I've experienced is seeing the shadow figures. I saw a man in that closet and it was being filmed. The first time I've ever seen it was being filmed up here. I was talking about this room. They had all the lights on me, these bright lights. I was like, it had just caught my attention. I went, there's just a man in here. Why well, hadn't I had time to do my security check? I thought someone was in here. So there's no one in there. There's, how do you get pat, how do you do that when I have cameras all over, you know? I've actually gone in that closet on the hottest, most humid day we've had out here, and it was like 30 degrees colder in there at one time. I put a D, the DDR60 I was talking about there and one there. That one in the closet picked up two people conversating, a man and a woman, for two minutes. We weren't talking. 14 seconds, 14 seconds that I'll never forget in my entire life. We had a woman screaming into the recorder there saying, get out, very loudly. And it's like an older woman. I'm gonna come actually right out into the main. Uh... Do you walking? <laughs> what? I just heard walking. There was like footsteps in you the other You both looked room. at each other and I was like, what the fuck are you There was doing? footsteps what? in the other, there's been like a couple like in our oh, room. Oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't hear it. I was told this one wouldn't be very scary, and I'm not feeling very confident in your words. <laughs> it's, okay, so overall... It's be scary. You did. You said it's for nice. I'm going to tell you. Know, to be fair, I don't know sin. anything about it. I'm going to tell you, ready, ready? Downstairs mm. is very... It's, it's chill. It's more chill on the first floor. Second floor, it starts ramping up, but it's not bad. This yeah. is the floor that's like, hey, I'm here. Yeah, right. This is like the epicenter of the haunting. Okay. It's right on this floor. It's because it's so much, mm -hmm. and it gets you... What the fuck? <laughs> he, said, he said he was scared. You heard that. I that, did, yeah. Did that sound like I a, heard that one. That sounded like it was in a, the room over. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree. Holy shit. <laughs> I've never heard that up here before. That was almost like it, like, like, hold on, let's see if I can even do this. Something like that, maybe? But yeah, kind of. A little lighter, I think. Yeah. 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 Like, just put its hand. And, yeah. He's like, I'm here. Got your attention. Cool. Thank you for scaring me. <laughs> oh, my God. This place always surprises me. It really does. You say it's scary. It, it is, but it's not. Mm -hmm. You're more scared of the unknown. I don't like tall things coming at me, which is happening. Oh, happened a couple yeah, of I times. forgot about yeah. that. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so, so when you stay here, <laughs> I can tell them not to bother you if you, if you would Honestly, like. Honestly, they can, they can just okay. pull Sam. We'll see what happens. Okay. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. It's really it's fun because all... she wants to be tortured, poked, scratched. It oh, yeah, yeah, happens yeah. to me instead. Yeah. My very, very first experience was down here. When we had opened the um, trap door, it felt like energy just shot through. And three days after that, we just slept for three days. We used to have a stack of chairs down here and you see the hands go up like this, wrap around like one at a time. You see the head go like this, go down. And I'm like, we have a squatter. And then it, then it actually like stood up. Like it went down and then it actually stood up. Like, you know, those werewolf movies that you see where they're down on the ground and they stand up. You're like, oh, they're big. That's the way I can describe what I saw. Cause it went all the way to the ceiling, which is like eight feet now, almost eight, seven, eight feet. And it ran into that room. So me being me, I'm like, I'm like, whoosh. well, not there. You can't go out the back door because we have this like iron, like 50 pound thing against that door. But you had to go upstairs and there's no sound. See, so where did it go? It just disappeared. And now we're seeing this tall shadow thing there. I have a theory on that. I think it may be the thing that 
is upstairs as well in hiding. So you're in a funeral home that hangs out here because this entire basement is made to contain energy. This is sandstone all over here. This is just an energetic building. See what I mean? Volumes are spoken down here and it's son of a bitch. <laughs> Something just touched me. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. That was cold too. Like it wasn't like you know how have you ever been touched? Oh many times. Because if a lot of times it doesn't feel it feels warm. Mm -hmm. This was this plain old like cold. cold. Yeah. Okay, you guys are in for a good night already. I think what you're gonna get is gonna be fantastic. <laughs> Seriously. How you feeling, friend? I feel like there's a lot going on. It smells like urine down here. It does. And it, I don't remember it, it smelling it like, like that like earlier. Just peed everywhere. They seem like they're really like into the owner. It's a little weird, like obviously like they're around a lot, but like right, the right. dynamic is but really like, weird. Yeah, it's almost like his energy is feeding them to a degree. Yes. He's so high energy that he's just putting it off into the building and the building is feeding off it. It's That's why they love him here. Mm -hmm. Been touched a good 40 times today already. Really? Yeah. I haven't been touched at all. Is that you? Because you weren't moving your bag around. <laughs> That's you. Girl, why is it me? What? Yeah, my millimeters yeah, are it's more. me. Yeah. Shut them. Is that the spirit box? Oh my god, like everything's going do? off. Temp's going off. Um, it's just... Excuse me? I don't know. I didn't press any buttons. Why did it stop? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, if you want to take this, you can. I'll be honest, I ain't feeling much. Yeah, I felt a lot earlier, but right now... I'm it's... sort of concerned slash wondering if it's him i wonder that too maybe it has something to do with him if there's anybody down here that wants to talk to us can you here i'll move this can you walk in front of this and set this off well hold on okay now walk in front of it and set it off it'll make a noise like that and it'll let us know that you want to participate in the talking Touched on the shoulder. Did you? Mm -hmm. It was a tap on my right shoulder. A firm. If you touched her, can you walk in front of that music box? If there's anybody down here, you want to tell me your name? Because I think I really do think a lot of it did have to do with him. Me too. Like a hundred. I think. Like it's not going to be dead. But I think most of it was. Most of the. Big, big stuff. No, well, he said that he, there was big, big stuff that happened when he wasn't here. Was he still on property hunting with them, though? I don't know. But I was, like, so sure that he's, like, That's the part thing. of it to some degree. Both of them are 100%. Mm -hmm. I think we'd have better luck upstairs. Me too. I don't feel like her. So I think we should go back upstairs. Why is this? I almost asked you if you turned it on. Yeah, it's on. Wait, it's question. Just... What? Next door. The one next door that doesn't exactly like technology and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's true. Do you want to film me while I'm doing this? I would love to. Let's see if I can get it to work. Oh, tradesies. We'll get a nice angle of Amber struggling. This is, okay, this for sure is working. I can hear this. So the spirit box is good, but... All of this is on, but I just, I can't hear anything. His name's Howard, isn't it? Howard, are you messing with my stuff? Have you not seen one of these before? Boom. Yeah. Why did it... Boom. Girl. I just got a smell of like a perfume. Howard, do you want to come talk to us? I don't know where. Who is the girl? There's a lady in this room, is, isn't there? That sounds like a whole sentence. I just don't know what it said. I don't know either, I feel very bad about that. Yeah. If you want to speak to us, you can speak to us. You just have to speak clearly and kind of loud. 
Did I say hi, guys? Hi. Can you tell me your name? Hello? I did not like that. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what room are you in? I think she said say hi. Oh. Well, I'm just here to talk to you. Kind of get to know you a little bit, maybe. I hear a lot about this place. You have a beautiful home. You know, I have a lot of friends who are interested. No. <laughs> I don't know what it said. I feel so bad. I know. Do you know what year it is? Do you know what this device is called? This right here is a spirit box. Can you say spirit box? Holding that makes my arm hurt. Well, the whole wrist situation. Just, yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing children. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Which normally is interesting. Are there any kids here? Okay. Do you let the kids run around and play? Was that a no? I, that's what I thought. Hide. Hide? Hide? What, like hide and go seek? Can you come sit next to us and talk to us? It might have said sure. That's what I thought, yeah. Sure. You're down to one bar. Okay. All right, what do you want to talk about? Do you have a favorite hobby or anything? Do you know what that piece of equipment is? If you go near it, it might make a little bit of noise, but it'll light up. And that'll just tell us that you're here and that you want to talk. Does say help? Mm hmm What do you need help with? Who's the one that needs help? I heard a three-letter word that was fun. Three? Yep, three. Did you say three? Yep. I'm pretty sure you said it. Can you repeat it? What was it? Run. Oh, run. <laughs> yeah. Why is that like the most common thing that they say? I feel like almost every place that we go to, we get that. I feel like they just want to scare people. Stop saying it. I just want to scare people. And like some people are like, oh my God, and actually do it. And also, I guess run is an easy word to say. Do you know who we are? Can you say one of our names? Preferably not the child. Oh shit. <laughs> Why did you just do like a banshee scream? It keeps doing that. Are you playing games? Did you hear that? Yes. Run. Run. Girl, it was like, oh, I heard it. I heard where it came from. Where would it come from? Outside, probably up the steps. Do you not like it when we have a conversation and we're not involving you? Was Howard getting mad? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Howard. Yeah, sorry. We can have a conversation now. I'm sorry that we started talking. Thank you for your service also. Yes. Hi. He's hiding. Howard, are you hiding? You don't have to hide. For you. We're not here to hurt anybody in any type of way. We're, We're just here to talk. Thanks, man. We're just trying to help people who may have loved ones who have crossed over, you know, help them get a little bit of comfort. What was that? I think it was outside, but like what That's would make what, that noise? I know. That's what I thought too, because it was so loud, but I don't know. And like it definitely came from my left, which would be towards the window. Did it say Mansfield? 
I thought I thought I heard. Are you gonna come over and touch this thing over here? It's not scary. They did say there's a lot of intelligence going on and I'm trying to I'm trying to like get evidence of that. Like pinpoint you like know, I'm trying intel. To, yeah. yeah. Why did we smell a weird smell downstairs in the basement? Was somebody giving us a warning? Howard, what did you do in the military? We'll rotate so that way. We save arms. <laughs> we save her arms. Oh my. Howard, which branch were you in? Can somebody come sit next to us? And set this device off right over here? What? Did you say laughing? <laughs> I thought, what? what? <laughs> Like an old man, like, what? What? Can you walk up those steps or down those steps and activate the little lights, please? <coughs> yes, really. Do you hear some shuffling outside of the door? Which door? This one, right here. I heard shuffling, but it was over, like, down there. Oh, you think it was from down there? Do you know what's really weird? That? Every time we hear a noise, we always, you and I and like we everybody else, we always hear it from different directions. I was say, we can never get the same direction between no. the two of us. What is really interesting? That, yeah, it's like distortion of some sort. I was thinking, um, I know Howard was mad earlier that doors were shut. Mm-hmm. The one up the stairs to the right, did you read the sign on the door? Please keep door shut. Mm-hmm. It's funny. Howard, are you upset that that door is shut up there? It's open. Oh, is it open? I did not shut that. Yeah, I don't know what's up there. It's a little weird, weird. <laughs> Ow. I thought I said no. They typically tell us to go away, run, out, leave. You know how the nights sometimes go where nothing happens and it gets like really terrifying towards the end? Mm hmm Oh, that's gonna be tight. Oh, yeah. All right, I think it's time to change our approach. Oh, no. Do we have options for a new approach? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought no. you had like a big old plan. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I do know that I have to change this battery though. Yeah, it is about to die. Okay. <laughs> you should have charged it. <laughs> Did you hear the voices though? Were they outside? outside. Okay. I think they're girls outside. Did you say I should have charged my battery? Called you right out. I did charge it. Alright. I'm gonna grab the battery pack. I don't wanna miss anything. I don't <laughs> so wanna I, I hate when that happens. I'm not gonna miss Always when you're changing the batteries. Bitch, see this is why I did not turn off the camera. Oh, see, you caught on that I didn't turn off the camera. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you got her or not, so I, I hurried up and pulled up Snapchat. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Save. I just want to get a picture, but that was more than I expected. Can I take your picture, actually? That'd be fun. Yeah, you start taking pictures. I'm going to... Oh, the battery. It's warning me that the battery is, like, dying. Well, the, it's weird. The first one didn't focus at all, and the second one focused. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I've been having... Because, like, look at the first one and, like, the chair. Like, it looks like there's a black blob in it. And then you go over here and look how crisp that picture is. Whoa. Literally, this is number one. So, literally, it's, like, blurry on this chair down here. It's terrible to see in your camera. Probably, yeah. But it's blurry, and then it's super crisp. Super crisp. Crisp and clean. <laughs> crisp <-y. laughs> Can I take your picture now? Are you in the hallway? Um, no, I was going to say, isn't it so weird that we haven't had any hits all night? And we were talking about that, how we haven't had any hits on any of the devices. And as soon as it thought that my camera was off, it went off. And I said, I caught it and it, it was stopped. Like done. It was like, oh shit. Oh crap. I'm not as slick as I thought. Oh no. <laughs> you really done went there. <laughs> all right, let's migrate. Oh, I guess. Here's your thingy. I think we should go in creepy, creepy closet. Not in the closet closet. I'm not going to force you to go in the closet closet. The one upstairs? Mm -hmm.
How did I know? Well, no, no, no. I think we should just go in that room. We, we can go in the creepy closet. We don't have to go in the closet closet. I'm not going to stop you. Well, I wasn't talking about going in the closet closet. I'm actually a little scared to go in the closet closet. We're going in the closet closet. <laughs> not fucker. <laughs> if we're going to the third floor, we're going in the closet. Bitch, that's you. Hi, friend. How? You're on top. <laughs> oh my god, I hate that thing so much. If you wanted the music box, you just had to say. Can you say music box with the device? Just yeah. say music. Uh, <laughs> which way? Are you over in the hallway or in the bedroom? How about this? You yell at anyone to stop. That sounds a nice way to do it. Has it yelled at me yet? Oh my god, that rose water smells really strong. Really? Uh huh. Are you not in here? I don't know where this man is. I don't think you've been hollowed at. Uh -huh. Oh, you just got hollowed at. Okay, can do. Music, right for you, my friend. Okay, there's music for you right there. If you're really nice and set off the music box, you might be able to play piano for you. Or Elvis, your choice. Oh yeah, I forgot about the piano. I think that we should leave that right there and try to walk out of the room. Okay. She was saying that the one group couldn't even leave the room with their devices. I think that was up in the scary room. In the scare scare? I think he said it in the scary room at the top of the steps to the right. Would you like me to take this with us? Uh, yeah. Do you want to turn it off or? Oh, what do you think? Should we see if it yells at us as we walk? Oh yeah, it's definitely going to yell at us. Well, that'll be exciting. Okay. We got this. I said don't. All right, well, we're coming up the stairs. <laughs> the door is closed. Shut up, he shut them. Okay, so like, interesting, just saying. Is there anybody in here? <laughs> it said listen. <laughs> Listen. I feel like you are. It's Woman. A, I think it's an Amber. What, me? Amber's over there, just What's saying. up? Do you have something you want to tell me? I don't know. Say, I don't know. <laughs> There's somebody outside talking. Yeah. Like uh, a male, just for reference, if, if the audio picks that up. Do you have anything important you want to say? I think we should set up the music box in this little area right here. I got the music box going. I think we should poke around a little bit over here. Oh. If I knock on this door, will you knock back? It said run. Run? Well, I'm gonna knock. Can you knock back? How long is an appropriate amount of time to wait? I don't know. I mean, maybe it'll knock once we leave. Maybe. He still has to go. Why do you keep telling us to go? It sounded kind of serious, but I didn't. It sounded like, sort of like, don't do this or else type of deal. Feeling a little sickers, but that's okay. I'm on a deal. I am so tired. Oh, <laughs> I almost fell over. Did you see? Girl, that was loud. Did you see? I almost fell over. Did you see that? I saw you tipping. Yeah, I, was, I went like Should this. Should we take a like, step out of this room, maybe? Yeah, just for a second. I just feel like really dizzy and like nauseous. Was that a ha ha, girl? It's laughing at you. Uh, not cool. In all respect, that's just Amber. That's it. Yeah. If you go down, I'm leaving you. <laughs> Until I can find a light switch. I'm <laughs> and then I will be back. Then I'll come save you, but like till then you screwed. <laughs> <Tell me> you <laughs> screwed. <laughs> like you must be duking it out up here. <laughs> this ain't oink. <laughs> oink oink. It's like they want to be a part of the conversation, but at the same time, like they're not answering. Leave. Any of the conversation. Yeah. 
Why do you keep saying leave? My bag's in there, girl. <laughs> I was just looking at that. It belongs to them now. Hope you liked it. <laughs> Hope I don't need anything in there. Literally, you're done. Like the DS cards. <laughs> Literally, you're done. That's this is all you have. Or the SD cards, not the DS cards. What the fuck? Not like me. That's a disorientation. Turtle instead of toilet. <laughs> Was that laughing again? Uh huh. I'm also starting to get a little dizzy. I don't know. I stepped out of the room, but it hasn't. Nothing's changed. No. A little. A little sick. I don't trust that room at all. Should we keep this door open though? Okay, so here's the, the, the little, little dilemma in my head. Go. I appreciate go. That's like the fourth time it's told us to like leave. Go or don't, one of the two. <laughs> so, a logical me is like, it says keep it shut for a reason. We don't want that out. The one for like Amber's video was like, yeah, let's leave it open. <laughs> <laughs> It can't be that bad. <laughs> Two different versions. Yeah, so like you just pick whatever you prefer. I, I don't know, it. but it's like the longer I sit up here, like the worse that it like, gets. I'm so sick. I know. Would like me to go grab your bag? No, it's okay. Are I'll go sure? grab it. I'm just trying not to. Well, if you fall in there, you're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you know, it's really that, it, that it's all over. <laughs> Literally, this is where you live now. Hi, friend. Hope you have a great night. Did it say night? Yeah. Bro. Good night. Does it? Okay. That room is intelligent. Bow shall. Oh, I think I'm we should just, we should just walk in here for for a minute. Just. Mhm. Mm smells different than it did earlier. It smells and feels different. Good or bad? I don't know. I don't know. I'm dizzy. It's probably not good. I know. And like I know it's not good, but I really want to go in that back room. Oh yeah, let's do it. Which like that can't be good. <laughs> do you think the spirits get agitated from them doing construction and fixing things? Oh, I'm sure. Sort of ruining the piece. Yeah. I'd be pissed off too if somebody was constantly <laughs> working on something in, like in my space. Moving your stuff around. Is there anyone in here? sounded reassuring i think that we should take a little break yeah it's because i'm getting dizzier recoup because i still don't feel all right <laughs> it said leave here i don't like that it's doing that yeah it's like everything that it's saying is just leave go and like it's making us leave it's fun it's great <laughs> just dandy <laughs> just dandy all right let's go downstairs mm -hmm. oh my god i can't believe i feel so gross yeah i feel terrible gross i just feel like i'm gonna throw up yeah that's it's great. really weird it only gets one of us not both of us yeah that's strange that it got both of us mm -hmm. who's the one that moves stuff around in here do we want to try the box we can try the box <sighs> i don't know how the box works oh, yeah yeah it's above my pay grade <laughs> I'm not paying You're just amazed all. by the amount of stuff above my pay rate. Okay, this isn't working again. Again? There we go. Is there anybody in here? Is there somebody in here that likes to like throw stuff? Where's everybody at? I say Seth. It said some type of S name. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I heard S for sure. Did you used to live here? Where do you want us to go so we can talk to you? I think that we should check on the stuff that gets moved mm -hmm. upstairs and make sure that it didn't get moved while we were Isn't outside. there a doll on this floor also that moves? Yeah. Okay. But it's on the other side of this wall, so. Okay. I'll let you know if I hear anything.
The doll is not on this floor. The doll is on the first floor. Oh, sorry. But yes, we can check the doll. But uh, let's go to the third floor first. Oh, your music box. I totally forgot that that was there. Me too. That would have been fun to forget. Yeah. And then here. Howard, are you in here trying to sleep? If you're trying to sleep, I'll leave you alone. I think you went, shh. Shh. Okay, Howard, good night. I was hoping it would say good night. Okay. Maybe not. I said no good night for you. No good night for you. All right, coming back. Goldo, it's on the floor. It was on the floor. It's on the floor. It was on the floor. No, look, it's on the floor. Oh my God, it's on the floor floor. <laughs> my heart is pounding. Why is this on the floor? There's not, there's no cameras in here, is there? Bitch. They would have heard the sound though. <sighs> yeah. Why is this on the floor? We fucking missed it. <sighs> Shit. There was just like a noise in the room. Okay. Um, I'm a... This actually isn't that heavy. Mm -hmm. Just to clarify for a minute. Okay, that is up now. Let's... I just want to see if the uh, door okay. is, has fallen. We're back. Hello. No, the door. The door is still fine. Okay. Sorry, I was. You're good. Move that. Uh, I don't know what that was. Oh, uh, you said you heard a noise from here. Yeah. Hold on. Why do you move the rack? Is there a significance to that? Or is it just something that you can do easily? I knew there was a reason why I was thinking about checking on it. I thought about checking on it when we first came in, but I ignored that. We would have heard it, I think. Yeah, I feel like we would have heard that fall. It's not like super loud, but it is. You would still hear it. Yeah like metal so when he when it fell earlier he dropped it earlier i heard it from oh, okay. downstairs uh, i guess we can go downstairs and check the dolls okay um i don't really have a camera to leave in that room unless if we go out to your car and, and grab, grab one of those and then put it in front of that camera mm. to see if we can catch anything with that yeah all right it doesn't feel as bad as it did earlier but that that is crazy that that did get moved yeah but it doesn't surprise me no not at all i'm gonna step into this bathroom real quick. is there anybody in here like phil we're not getting very many responses no ma'am which i think is weird because we were getting so many earlier and now it's like mm. not very many. Maybe like they went to bed. They could have. Let's go in here. There's a really big breeze coming from. Do you feel it? Yeah, is the window still open? No, he shut it. Interesting. Can I work on the bed? It looks like it's finished. <laughs> it is. I'm kind of just like walking around just seeing how everything feels compared to earlier because they're... Yeah. it did kind of like shift everywhere. Yeah, it did. Like rooms that I didn't feel something in earlier, like I felt something and then rooms that where I did feel something like I felt nothing. Yeah. Can you tell me your name? I don't know what else you want to try or where else you want to go 
or like what you want to do before we leave? It's one of those things where I feel like us coming here for the first time, we're just not going to get tons. Yeah, because we're but not if doing we were to come back, the right thing. Correct. Like if we were like to come back, maybe they'd be used to us a little bit. Do the dolls have anything they want to say? Uh, I know what you can try. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go mess with the piano? The whole one song I know? Yeah, we'll switch. Okay. That can be something that might trigger. LOL, not funeral music. Yeah, I'm out. Well, not, yeah. I don't know how to play a funeral Not the same March. tone. They're dancing upstairs and they're like, Can you walk across the floor or come downstairs? They said that running around. That you can only hear a lot of running around? Yeah, but I think they said they like to play tag. Like if you run around. Would you like me to run in circles? Or would you like to run in circles? <laughs> I don't know how I mean do we think that's so I mean how would you prove if they tag you or not unless I get like body checked <laughs> yeah I mean like maybe if you just run in a circle and then like stop and then if we hear footsteps <laughs> ah, sorry <laughs> tag you're it I don't know where you are though <laughs> I almost fell over Lap number two. <laughs> I've never run in circles before. <laughs> they don't want to play tag. <laughs> they don't want to play tag. They said no. They said LOL. Actually, no. They Can you play? play piano. You want to play the piano? Maybe get the notes that I hit wrong. Does TC want to come talk to us? Can you play a note on that piano, please? I was just hoping that when you go through this, there's some crazy EVPs of them trashing my piano playing abilities. <laughs> like, boo, you suck. <laughs> That's the one hope we're hoping That's for. That's like what I really want in life, honestly. What about you, my friend? I'm thinking that I'm starting to get a little tired. Mm-hmm. A little bit. I know that we have a long day tomorrow. We have a huge day tomorrow. <laughs> whoop, whoop. It is crazy though, like we were talking outside about the similarities between. And we booked both of them in, <laughs> in a trip, so like. Without realizing it. Because I'm here for the next couple days. Hey, where the real, real fun begins for us. So we've been there before. Mm -hmm. We just weren't expecting this place to be We thought in the realm chill. of crazy, yeah. Uh, let's go up to the third floor one more time and tinker around. And then we're done. And then okay. we can go home. I just, I keep, uh, no. I keep toying with the idea of going upstairs. It's just, it's, it kind of does actually creep me out. Especially because I, we both got so sick earlier. Yeah. I don't like when we both, like, not that I like when any of us get sick. But, like, when we both get sick, that's really bad. Oh, yeah. Is this still standing? Yes, it's still standing. I was behind you. I was trying not to no, scare you. <sighs> you really like this room. I do like this room. I like it, but I don't like it. That's why the door just slams shut. I keep like putting my foot in doorways. Oh, I didn't do that. It would just hit me in the face. This room does creep me out. Mm -hmm. I think it's really just sort of like the way it looks. Like obviously something bad is in here. Bad, grumpy, whatever. Yeah, whatever label you want to put on Everyone's it. Everyone's favorite quotations that agitate them. <laughs> but like it just looks a little grungy-ish. Mm -hmm. it, it, it does look very different from the rest of the house. Yeah, like it's obvious like they haven't been able to get in here and touch it up at all. Or very little. Can you tell me your name? 
Do you know what year it is? It feels like everything is really like calmed down. Mm -hmm. You know, earlier it felt like there was just a bunch of like energies that were just like swirling. Yeah, it was very high energy. But right now it's just like... There's like not one ounce of energy in this room. Yeah. Or anywhere it feels like. What was this room before? What did this room used to be? All right, so do we shut the doors when we leave or? No, we shut this no. door. We make sure the lights are off, lock the front door, lock the basement door. Okay. I just this door because apparently, but like that's interesting though, because wouldn't that make him grumpy? I don't know. Like that's what I'm confused about. That's why, oh, sorry. No, that I was just really shutting. actually lost for a second. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like a fart. <laughs> It was like it was like, <laughs> yeah, it was like a duck noise. Yeah. I don't know. That wasn't the floor, was it? No. That was so weird. It's really We've strange. We've been getting a lot of weird noises, like not a lot of stuff, just weird. Just weird. Just yeah. weird. Just duck unex fart noises. <laughs> just unexplained for whatever reason.